Morning all, it's Phil here at Sheldon Bosley Night. Uh, we've got another property tour for you. It's very cold uh, today. You can see the steam coming away. Um, we're in Hilton Avenue today. It's tucked away right at the very, very top of the um, small little cul-de-sac. Uh, Hilton Avenue is just at the uh, Books Hill. Um, opposite sort of Trafford Drive so you've got shops nearby the schools nearby there's some walks as well which we'll detail a little bit further uh, the one we're going to as per the normal drill just here uh, number 63 you can see it's got some sort of loose stones uh, forecourt there although it must be said there is no drop curb uh, to this one um, really good house three bedroom end one lovely little cul-de-sac so let's uh, pan around show you what we've got and then we'll have a tour round there's the front of the house just there as you can see the loose stones are in um I've seen a reason why you couldn't do sort of the drop curb sort of set up just there as we just turn back round just there look that's the rest of the estate just down there as a car just pulls up to a neighboring property beautiful skies today so if you head just down there and then turn right that'll take you um out of hilton avenue and onto the books hill and then you've got some sort of shops and walks sort of nearby there so let's go and dive in though so there we go there's the front of the house as you can see there's a little bit of extra land on the side and we will get through round into the back garden and round so that you can see just there and as we said there's the rest of the cul-de-sac just heading down there so they've got loose stones down here all the, the brown windows here they've got the faces and soffits there all in upvc as well so there we go so let's get in we have got a little cute uh, little puggy dog in here so you've got the porch on on the front that's got the electric meter behind there then electric consumer unit and then we'll work our way we'll work our way through may well be followed there she is so let's uh let's get in so you've got the um you've got the hallway um just there um storage cupboard just under here door through then into the lounge there is the cloakroom on the front so that's got the wc and there is a hand basin just behind the door just there as we then work across then into the kitchen kitchen is a high gloss range of units it's got all the appliances in that you could possibly need. So there is the tumble dryer, the washing machine, the dishwasher, and there's also the tall fridge freezer, the double ovens in as well. Fair array of units, cabinets, storage, and you're at the front of the house, nice and bright in here. We'll work our way through to the um, rest of the house then, towards the back lovely big open lounge diner it's southerly facing the rear garden i'm just having some problems with my compass on my watch at the minute which i'll try and sort out but south is there look top left as you can see i will get that sorted in a moment but a lovely big space You've got the patio doors that straight out then onto the decking and the garden needs a little bit of attention um they've got a couple of dogs here so it doesn't uh, there's no lawn in or anything down on there but easily sorted and then we'll just wiggle away upstairs you're onto the landing you've got the three bedrooms some useful storage and then on the in there is also the boiler this room then this one's got the built-in wardrobe so double wardrobe in there hanging rail and obviously sliding wardrobe sliding door nice big room you've got views over the back as you can see that takes you back over um towards sort of friesland rise which is just at the top of the road just past this little cordy sack here there's some swings and slides and nice little setup there uh, there is it's not a built-in wardrobe on here so i'm not sure if that's going to stay or not um but a nice size room again laminate wooden flooring uh, bedroom three it's got quite a big unit in here for um but i'll try and try and show you um here's your 
sort of garden set up just down there and there's the views over the fields as you can see just there um not a bad third room obviously big chunk of um furniture in here at the moment but that gives you an idea of the size obviously it's the stairway width and the landing width and then lastly up here you've then got the um bathroom fully tiled walls it's in there and there is the shower just over the bath there low maintenance sort of pvc clad ceiling got tiled floor in there as well so let's get down into the garden show you a little bit down there there you go i managed to sort the compass point out so you can see so that's their look so definitely that southerly aspect to here. So you've got a good sized decking area just here. Um, and then the garden behind, as I said, little bit worn. Um, it's just a roughly turned um, soil. And you obviously got quite a large timber store shed just there. And you've got all the fencing going round. Uh, that's the picture window that's in the lounge. And then if we just hop across here, you have got this space just on the side just there there may be options to um, extend across here maybe wrap round if you wanted to do obviously subject to planning permissions consents etc so what i'll do i'm just going to turn the camera around we'll tell you a little bit more so there we go that's hilton avenue that's the video tour almost complete and thank you for watching uh, so far good to be able to bring this one to the market lovely spot up here just tucked away right at the head of the cul-de-sac uh, there's no other houses um, here you then um, little walkway through that takes you through into Friesland Rise uh, which is at the top of Poplar Farm um, as I said before you've got swings and slides there's fields over there where you can go walk in the dogs and take the kids on the bike rides and so on you've got very easy access then as well onto the what they call the black track which is an old disused railway and that goes um, from sort of Stocking Ford all the way up towards Hartsill and then ultimately to the Hayes as well. So um, other local amenities, you've got shops nearby. There's a one-stop sort of spa type shop that's just on Trafford Drive, just on the other side of the road. Uh, Tiffin's, which is an Indian restaurant, which is very good, my local, I must admit. On there, you've got a few pubs and clubs nearby. Schools are very, very good. Um, so yeah, it's in a really great position here and the house is in good order. A um, little bit of attention needed obviously to the garden, but hopefully nothing there too, too much. And um, our clients have seen something that they like and it's an empty one as well. So we are hoping that, uh, yeah, that should be no chain moving forward on here. So gonna launch this property to the market very soon. Have a look online, the brochures, the spec sheets, etc., will be on there. I'm just trying to avoid that sun. Um, yeah, have a look online. If there's anything you're unsure about, let us know, talk to us, but we're ready to view on this one. So let us know and we'll, we'll get you booked in for here. Uh, asking price, 180,000 pound, 180 on the dot. And um, yeah, let us know. We'll get you in for a viewing. Don't forget, keep subscribing to the page though. YouTube page, really important. There's a link down here. There'll be um, new properties coming to the market. You'll find out about them here. This will go live on YouTube um, shortly and then it won't hit the right move page for about another 24 hours after. So you will get a little bit of a head start on there. Um, if you want some help with your own, want a bit of advice as to what the housing market is doing, etc., then obviously we can help on that side as well. So thanks for watching. Till the next one, another one a bit later on today. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheerio.